everyone, it's your friend Thing Noodles, and welcome back to Roblox Pokemon Brick Bronze, where today we are at the end of the sewers and about to head in to see what Team Eclipse has done to our poor friend Jake. Now, before we go, I know that there is a Christmas event on where you can get some shiny Pokemon, and I will go there, but I know you have to go to the Anthean City Park District, and if you remember at the end of the last episode, yeah, I couldn't get there. <laughs> Team Eclipse was blocking me from getting the Christmas gift. So rude. So we need to take them out. Let's see what's behind door number one. Door number only, actually. Uh, oh, got some poop. Uh, oh, I see Jake. Oh, sweet. It looks like he's in. Oh, not so good. <laughs> we better hurry and help him. Okay. Oh, Jake. Dude, you're taking on six, no, five Team Eclipse members. I can't count, Jake. I'm not going to be much help at all. Well, look at what we have here. It's the friend of that kid that keeps ruining our plans. Yeah, where's your little friend now? You made a big mistake messing with us, kid. Ha, ha, ha. Tess, think, thank goodness you came. Oh, yeah. Oh, look who showed up. You're a really persistent brat. Do you miss your mommy and daddy yet, kid? Whoa, too far. We've been taking real good care of them. We keep them cozily locked away back at our base. I'll take this ship back to your base. He doesn't need to know that, imbecile. I'm really sorry about this thing. I was just trying to help. I wanted to protect everyone. I'm not as strong as I thought. Zip it, kid. You do what we say now. You don't challenge Team Eclipse without facing serious consequences. Well, I will challenge you. We'll be taking your friend back with us as our hostage. No! Yeah, that's right. Tess and Jake are in love. You can't take her boyfriend away. He's our friend and we won't let you take him. You act like he has a choice. Soon we'll be done here and fly away with another one of your loved ones. We told you not to meddle with us child. We had our team members return from the museum with what we came here for and we're just waiting for Tyler to return from completing his mission. He should be back soon. The boss doesn't like waiting. Oh speaking of the boss, here he comes now. Wait. Hello Thing, it's been a Wait a minute. I believe we wanted to wait. I believe we bumped into each other last at the Rose Cove City gym. Wait, that's Professor Cypress? Wait a minute, you're the boss? Haha, -ha, yes, I guess I yeah, you should. You better start explaining right now. You got a lot of explaining to do. You see, I'm not just Rory as Professor Pokemon. <gasps> oh, you just took off all of his uh, I guess hidden clothing. Uh Okay, whatever. His his disguise. I'm also the leader and grand architect of team. But, but, but why would you do that? How could you do that? Well, let me tell you all a little story. Long ago, when I started my career as a Pokemon professor, I wanted to help Pokemon. When I was a child, I had no friends. That is, except for my Pokemon. Okay. I love my Pokemon dearly and one of the best for every Pokemon. Pokemon are excellent at bringing joy and comfort to their trainers and are very loyal. So as a professor, I devoted all my time in observing Pokemon and their relationships with humans. What I discovered was disappointing. Pointing. Oh no, is it because we use them, but they like it. Humans do not- I love my Pokemon. Don't you accuse me of not loving my Pokemon. Humans do not show the same love and respect for their Pokemon as Pokemon do for their trainers. I've observed Pokemon being mistreated. I've never mistreated a Pokemon by other humans for quite some time now. The way people force their Pokemon to pointlessly batter over such a petty thing as who may be stronger is just an example. But my Pokemon like that, don't you guys? I cannot stand to watch humans abuse their Pokemon. Pokemon should only be expected to battle, to bring forth their own freedom. But then again, why bother starting a war to free Pokemon when there's a simpler solution? What if I could simply take the Pokemon to another place? You're not taking my Pokemon anywhere, Professor Cypress, or evil Professor Cypress. A better place even where humanity is reconstructed around the idea that Pokemon would be free from humans. They would miss our companionship, wouldn't they? As it turns out, I'm not far from discovering such a place. I'm close to finding a new world where people and Pokemon can live freely and independently. That day, you came to my lab with your parents. They told me they had found something. It was a part of a legend that was tied in with an ancient Pokemon called Hoopa. They did not tell me what it was and that they... It was that they found specifically, but that it would unlock Hoopa and its infinite potential. Asked for more information, but it turned out they didn't seem fond of sharing. I instructed my admins to take your parents to our base of operations for more questioning. With their reluctant help, we have almost discovered Hoopa's location. You see, Hoopa can open portals to new worlds across space and time. We need this power in order to reach our ultimate destination. We will not be stopped in finding our new world, those 
who do not join us and follow us to the new world will be left behind. Well, I'm not going, so you can just leave me behind right now and leave Jake too and my parents. The explosives are in place, sir. What? Are you gonna blow up the city where you're ready to proceed? Explosives? What explosives? Oh yes, we have a little present for Anthony and City. We felt less than welcome the last time we visited. So now we plan to repay the city's generosity by destroying its power core upon our departure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get my shiny Pokemon first before you do that. <gasps> when the bombs explode, the power core will, of course, be obliterated. That core is what keeps us... Yes, I know. That's why I want to get the shiny Pokemon and then... No, that's selfish. No, no, no. I need to stop you completely. Why would you do such a thing? That would cause us so much destruction. You're a professor of Pokemon and not a terrorist. Maybe so, but we cannot afford to be stopped this time. Perhaps I forgot to mention this world will be destroyed anyway once we leave it behind for the new world. That's awful. How can you justify such a thing? You're so evil. It's not justice. It's revenge. Pokemon have been subjected to worse for way too long. Get on everyone on board and get ready to go. Yes, sir. Um, come with me. No, I'm not going anywhere. Jake, 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 come back. Jake, why would you go with them? Ciao. Oh, wait, what did he say? We will not let you go without a fight. Think you have to stop them. They're about to leave with Jake. You're the strongest trainer I know. Please stop them. Are you actually? Ch yeah, I am. You can't. Yes, I am serious. The reliance of on Pokemon and violence sickens me. But that's how this world handles tough situations. I may be against Pokemon battles, but that doesn't mean I won't come prepared for one <laughs> oops oh boy here we go okay we gotta think it's that absol again wait where it must have been following you i don't even see it it doesn't seem to have a trainer where think i think it wants to help you well i okay what's in the necklace it's wearing oh think that must be a mega stone absol's one of the few pokemon known to be capable of mega evolving in order to mega evolve oh i need to Okay, can I switch up what I'm holding? Because if I if I switch it to... Oh, my Charizard. Must be holding a Megastone, and his Charizard must be holding a Keystone. Yes! I actually happen to have a Keystone with me. Yes! Thank you! Oh, Tess gave it to me before he disappeared. But I think you should use it. Yes, I should. Oh! That's what I need. If, if Absol is willing to help us, then you can use the Mega Evolution to your advantage. I swear I didn't see it. Absol desires to join your team. Okay. Please choose a Pokemon to send to the PC. Oh, um... You know what? Ooh. Uh, is she gonna heal Haunter? Can I change... Can I change the held item here? No. Uh, let's send... Oh, I don't know. Um, cause Daisy... Yeah, Haunt... Okay, yeah, let's send Daisy. Yeah, okay. Even when equipped to the Mega Evolution, you stand no chance... What if I have two?! My Pokemon should be, shall be the tools in bringing about the liberation of Pokemon everywhere. You will be defeated, then you will fall with the other ignorant citizens of Anthean City. Oh man, I could have done Charizard X too. All right, Professor Cypress would like to battle. Wait, 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 wasn't Tess helping out here? Okay, all right, I cannot, oh, look at, oh. Now I've seen this in the battles against you guys, but I haven't actually controlled it myself. So should I just, should I just go straight ahead? Um, uh, let's see. So wait, Absol, wait, what type are we? What do we, um, let's, let, let's take a look at Absol first. Summary, uh, dark, and we've got dark, oh, psychic, I think, what is psycho cut? High critical hit ratio. Okay, that's actually good against, uh, Venusaur, I think. So let's fight. Can I, mega evolve, I'm mega evolving. Oh, look at the rainbows. Wait, what do I do? Click on that and then click fight? Is that, oh, wait, I don't understand. Wait, do I click that and then that? Absol's Absolite is reacting with my Mega Keystone. All right, it's on now. Oh, <laughs> Absol Mega Evolved. The opposing Venusaur used Sludge. Okay, Absol is weak. <laughs> I don't really like Absol very much. Okay, let's go again with Psychic. Oh, at least I got to go first that time. Yes, you're gone, Venusaur. And it is level 50. So this is going to be tough. Because uh, I don't have anything. No, I do. Lucario is level 50 something. Feraligator. Okay, so Feraligator is like water, I think. Um, So who do I have? I don't have anything that's... Um. Oh, wait. Duh. Water. We need to get out. 
Rotom or Motor, and we will shock him to death. I haven't even seen for Alligator. Oh my goodness, he's got six Pokemon just like me. This is gonna be a battle. This is. Come on. Okay. Oh, that wasn't as strong as I want it to be. Ah ha 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 ha! Dumb. I mean, it was a ground type move, but um, I guess. Yeah! Come on. Yo! One shot! Are you kidding me? Um, I don't have anything grass type, do I? Uh, let's bring in Lucario. Because that is my highest level Pokemon. And I should be able to hit him. Um, let's just do... Oh, this... Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save close combat because it's a more powerful move. Should be able to knock him out. There we go. What do we got next? What do we have? Oh, that was a lot of XP. Um, okay, who's next? Who's next? Yeah, Haunter. Ooh, new move. Ooh, uh, oh, Blaziken. Uh, fire? Fire, so I should be able... Will you switch your Pokemon? No. No, I've got a ground move. That should... Oh, my goodness. Oh, and that could be fighting type, too. Uh, let's try ground. Will this work? It sh Yeah! Should! Oh, my goodness! Yes! Ugh! How do you like that, Professor Cypress? My level 58 Lucario just totally wrecked you. Oh, Lucario's beast. Okay, uh, Torterra, I would say, is, um, is ground type just because of the Terra. Um, and let's see, maybe, I don't know. Uh, do I have, so wait, ground type, so, um, what moves do I, hmm, uh, do I have, uh, who should I choose? You know what? Let's go to, let's go to, let's go to Charizard. Let's take a look at this. Um, so. Oh, this, oh, this could be grass type, actually. Uh, flamethrower, maybe. Yeah. Oh, you go, Charizard. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to, you're done. Professor Cypress, it is all over. Okay. Oh, Samurott. Um, water, right? Is it? Uh, just plain old water, so I need... Oh, no, Rotom is gone! Um, and I don't have anything grass. Um... He's gonna have water... No, you know what? Let's just stay. Let's stay. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Samurai looks amazing. Um, let's go... Uh... Earthquake, yeah. Let's do Earthquake. Let's just see. That was weak. Oh, now he's dug. Oh, if I had... Oh, man. Um, What should I do now? Because he's... I'm not going to be able to hit him. Underground here. Should I... Should I switch Pokemon, maybe? To something that might be... You know what? Lucario is a stronger Pokemon. Let's just get him over. Wait for this guy to come up. Oh, that was dumb. What was I thinking? I forgot that he comes out and uses the... The ground type move. Um, let's do close combat. I think that's my strongest move of anyone. Yeah! Oh! So close. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, that's going to... You know what? That is going to knock Lucario out. Let's get Charizard back. And I think since he's in the air, it won't work. Right? <laughs> Uh, burn! Burn, Samurai, burn! There we go. Doesn't matter. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Who's next? Who's next? Yes! Oh, and Lucario. Oh my goodness, he's going to be level 60 any day now. Okay. Oh, can I do Delphox v. Delphox? Uh, not that I should, but... I... Um... Let's see, let's see, let's, sw okay, so, uh, Delphox was psychic and fire, so, um, jeez. Okay, you know what? Lucario has, wait, 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 what am I doing? Wait a second. Don't I have ground? Yeah, Charizard has a ground move, right? I have Earthquake, right? Yeah, 
And I've got a rock type. Oh, this is this is Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, baby. <laughs> Two shots. You know what? I'll mix it up a little bit. Let's go with rock slide now. Another super effective move, right? Ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot, actually, considering. Up the music ends, because guess what? Professor. Uh, I'm sorry. Evil Dude Cypress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my Absol leveled up. How did this happen? 11,000 bogey dollars. Whoa, look at everybody dancing. <laughs> you may have won this battle, but you have lost the war. How could I have already lost the war? Okay, I still have the explosive in place and they will detonate as soon as we take off from the city. Team Eclipse cannot be stopped now. We'll find our new world. No, please stop. Think of all the people in the Pokemon that will be destroyed. As yeah, you love the Pokemon. Sacrifices must be made to bring justice to future generations. If it makes you feel any better, you can add this key to the energy core room. What, to, to, to disarm the bomb? Then put the core key in the bag. The bomb will have blown up by the time you can reach the room, but at least you'll be able to watch the pretty light show from up close as the core melts down. Well, I must be off now. Ta-ta. I don't want to be here when the bomb goes off. Oh, there he goes. Is this thing taking off? Oh, my. Their airship is so much. Look at this thing. It's, it's not even an airship. This thing's a spacecraft. This is terrible. Think they took Jake, and now they're going to destroy Anthea City along with half of Roria. What do we do? There's not enough time to warn everyone. We need to figure out a... Uh oh Uh, it sounds like the explosive just detonated. It might be too late. Think I've never been this scared before in my life. I can't move my legs. I can't believe this is how our adventure is going to end. Think I just want to thank you for... Think your necklace just sparkled. What is it doing? What are you talking about? Whoa! Oh! Wait, my necklace did that? What's going on here? Okay, I can't believe what we're witnessing. The legendary dragon type Pokemon, Pokemon Dialga and Palkia have just appeared. I did not know who those were, guys, and I'm not even going to pretend I did. <laughs> uh, Dialga and Palkia have just appeared before us. According to legend, they have control over time and space. What called them here, though? My, my keystone? Wait, could it have been your necklace? Oh, the brick bronze necklace. It glowed right before they appeared. Well, whatever happened, this is a pretty big deal. We could really use their help right about now. Whoa. Whoa. Palkia's roar seems to have temporarily stabilized the city. This might buy us some time. Now we just need to figure out a way to save everyone. Are we going back in time now? Uh oh Whoa. Whoa, what just happened? We're back in the sewers. Look around, everything appears to be frozen as if time itself has been stopped. This must be the power of Dialga. Oh, look at the time. My watch is frozen on the time right as we showed up in Anthean Park to find Jake. But why would Dialga send us back here? Oh, I got it. Dialga must want us to stop the Team Eclipse admin from planting those explosives, and as luck would have it, Professor Cypress gave you the key to get into the energy core room. We can save everyone. We have what we need to save the city. Let's turn to the core room and stop Team Eclipse. The core room should be on the other side of the sewers, close to where we first entered from behind Gerald's shop. Nice. Let's go. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's black and white. This is the past or something. Um, where? <laughs> I'm, oh, wait, 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 the power core. There was that authorized personnel only place, I think. Um, I think, oh, you know what? It was back this way. Over here, right? I think there was, nope, not there. I think, yes. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am not ready for this. Okay, let's save, <laughs> yes. All right, and then let's see. I need, oh, you know what I need to do? <laughs> we need to change, well, we need to heal first, although it probably will heal, heal us. I'm just gonna make sure. Um, we need to get Charizard X and, oops, and well, give it. You could, there we go. Swap with charcoal, oh yes. Um, nice, so now we've got Mega Charizard X and Mega, Mega Absol. I was hoping that there would be like other Pokemon that I could fight while being in here. Let's get some medicine going. Ooh, okay, I was gonna say, ooh, I don't have any potions. Um, 
Wait, what? Why do you keep taking items? Um, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, wow. This is going to take all my potions. I should probably use a super potion on Charizard. Oh, and I forgot Rotom. Did I, do I have any, uh, oh, I have a revive. Okay. Yeah. Let's use that for Rotom. Yep. Holy cow. Holy cow. What happened here? Um, let's, you know what? You know what? I'm going to continue healing because this is kind of boring. And then, guys, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll go through that door in the next episode. We've had a really interesting uh, couple of, uh, an interesting day here in Pokemon Break Bronze. And, uh, you know, Professor Cypress is evil, blows your mind, and blew my mind. So, let's just call it an episode, guys. And in the next episode, we'll go through that door and see what the future holds. Hopefully we'll be able to stop this so that I can get to the park and get my shiny Pokemon because that is what's important, right? Saving the city is, you know, is, is obviously a good thing as well, but, you know, get, getting my special Pokemon is, is obviously above and beyond. So if you enjoyed this episode of Roblox Pokemon Brick Bronze, go ahead and pick up those chopsticks and poke that like button as hard as you can. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and please do become a noodler today and subscribe. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle line!